When it comes to Valguero, there's always this question, where are the rat holes? But they also want to know how to build in those rat holes. So we proudly present top three rat holes on Valguero with full base design. What's going on guys, it's the Outcast, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over the top three rat holes on Valguero, but with full base designs. So we're combining two videos. You guys seem to like the last two videos a lot, as the first one got a thousand likes as of right now, and the second one's already at 500 likes in about two days. So that's pretty good. So can we aim for... Hmm... Let's, let's aim for 530 likes. If we can get 530 likes, I'll move on to center or either Ragnarok. Ragnarok, rat holes, there's not that many, so probably center. But anyways, if you guys are new, don't forget to hit, the, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you're new. Now onto the video. So first off, coming at number three, this can be found at 46.6 latitude and 91.9 latitude. Longitude. Sorry, I said that a little wrong. But anyways, as you guys can see, this was actually in my rat hole video for Valguero whenever the map first came out, and they still have not fixed this spot. <laughs> I don't, like, come on devs. Well, I mean, don't fix it now, because, you know, I built the base design, but just know the base design will still work even if there's water. It just might make it easier to raid. So as you can see, without water, pretty hard to get up here, especially if there's turrets. So I was looking around, there's not much room to work with, but the room that we can work with, I thought of a pretty good idea. So here it is. So right off the bat, as you can see, I went ahead and put one of my famous cliff plat designs, as this is probably one of the best cliff platform designs to make. If you guys don't know how to make it, you basically put two fence uh, foundations on like one side of it, put a pillar, and then you can snap a foundation, kind of like I'll have it there, just to help you guys out. But I went ahead and put two, put a good amount of turrets, put a little bit of turrets in here, you know, just because, just in case they go through it. And then there's a little staircase to get out of the thing. Well, look how many turrets we have. I recommend laying out a little bit different so people cannot rocket raid because, you know, rock, uh, heavies don't shoot rockets. But anyways, I went ahead and made a little vault wall right there. And then a small entrance in this corner. And I have not doubled it. And then I went ahead and actually put vaults right there on the wall on purpose. So it could vault drop if it's being raided. Put some cryos. We got a grill, a cooker, refrigerators, preserving bins, more cryos. Put some two uh, hidden beds back there. A very tiny crafting station. And then up here we have more vaults and more vaults again and then there's the generator in the corner the reason for all the vaults is that if they do take down the wall it'll take it down coming at number two this location can be found at 89.8 latitude and 73.0 longitude as you can see here this is a pretty popular location a lot of people know about this and if you can build it right it's almost impossible to raid this thing unless you have a quetzal it's about the only way to do it but as you can see it's it's Tech yes, this is still considered a rat hole. It's not a hidden base location. It's a rat hole because of the, the area in the back there and that area down there. But anyways, it's a very hard area to work with, but if you can build it right, it'll turn out very, very well. So I messed around and then here is the final product. So as you can see right as you come, come up to this thing, I went ahead and did three hanging cliff plat towers. That's what you want to call it. Don't mind how that looks. I messed up a little bit there, but I was not. I'm, okay, I'll admit, I'm a little lazy when it comes to this, so don't mind that. But we have three of them. We have a turret wall and then another turret wall down there in the bottom. I covered the whole thing in bear traps in case, in case somebody wants to get a crab and throw it up there. Once you come in here, it may look like a mess. Since I couldn't layer from the outside, I went ahead and layered from the inside while also using these vaults as storage. So, it's just a little thing that I did there. We have our average crafting station. I hid one of our tech jennies back there. As you can see, pretty little crafting station, pretty, still decent size, more vaults. A tech trough back here, there's, there's four more vaults. There's your daddy storages, your cooker, and your grill. Yes, you can access all of them. And here's your second um, tech jenny. And then up here is your basically like, it's your logout area. As you can see, you can put cryos on the walls. This is very weird, but it's not connected to the ground. We've got refrigerators. Uh, vaults, our tech force field, which I did not activate, transmitter, and all of that. But as you can see, this is what it looks like after you're done. And finally, coming at number one, this can be found at 3.7 latitude and 28.6 longitude. But as you can see here, this is the most famous rat hole on Valguero and probably on Ark. This is Clemens Rat Hole. He was one of the first YouTubers to build in this rat. He was actually the first person to find this and post a video, and that's how he blew up. 
But anyways, as you guys can see, very small entrance. You actually have to crouch to get through here. So if you set your turrets up right, it'll be impossible to even raid this thing. Here's the issue. It's not that big as you guys can see. But I've decided to work around with that and I came up with a pretty decent design. Not the best, but I've actually used this on unofficial and it worked pretty well. So here is the final product. Right before we get into this, go comment OCYT and I'll heart your comment. Because why not? We've done it for every other video. So go ahead and comment that down below and also hit that like button. But anyways, on the outside, I went ahead and used one of my turret towers. This is actually, I've not posted this design on how to build it, but it's pretty simple if you look at it. It's not too difficult. Pretty easy little design. Very, very effective. And then right here, I was going to put a hanging tower, but turret limit would not allow me to do that. So I skipped over that. Went ahead and put two heavies right here. And not only one double door, not two, but three. Because, you know, why not? Then I went ahead and put three more heavies right there just to, you know, help out a little bit. Here's the best part about this five turret wall and then look at the bear trap layout you have to walk in a certain pattern to get into the base because if, 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 if you were a rocket runner you just get stuck and then you just die so a lot of raiders are not going to see that right away you come inside you have your cryo fridges your generators in that box right here pretty decent layout for the generator you have your refrigerators a vault your chem benches smithy fabricator preserving bins and an indie forge in the corner could not put more than one unfortunately and then you come up the ladder to the second layer. You have your bed, your grill, your cooker, and then a ginormous vault wall. Okay, and by giant, it's not that big, but I mean, what do you expect from this? But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this base design. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new, hit that subscribe button, and also, we are doing memberships. Our memberships are not fully set up yet, but if you'd like to support us, it is $1 a month or you can pick the other available options. That's really up to you. But anyways, comment down below on the next map that you guys want us to do for the top three rat holes or maybe a top five or top 10. We can start going up a little bit more. Here's the issue, they take a pretty long time to make. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and also leave some feedback on what you guys think. But I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.